What's up techies, welcome back to my ROM video series and for this video we're checking out Resurrection Remix. Resurrection Remix has been my ROM of choice for about three weeks now, and it's been a really good ROM. It's got some solid performance, it works really well, lots of customization, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. If you were to ask me what ROM to run on the Nexus 6P or any kind of recommendations for ROMs to use, the Resurrection Remix ROM is one of those that I would put in the top three to use. A few of the things that I really like about this ROM is that it's got CMTE, which is CyanGemon's theme engine, and that's how you can change the look of your entire device. Look at this, this does not look like your typical stock Android, which is cool, it's a darker theme, I really like it. And just go to your theme chooser, and then if you have any download already, that's what you get right here. These are some really good ones that I recommend. I definitely like to check out Caffeine, Euphora, Neptune, and also Flat. Those are some really good themes that you can check out. It's really easy to use, all you have to do is select the theme that you want after you download it from the Play Store or anywhere else. And just check off all the different elements that you want to get themed and hit apply. You actually don't even have to reboot your phone. It applies it for you without having to go through all that trouble. And as you can see here, it's now a red theme, which is a pretty cool looking one. I really like caffeine. I think I've used it the most out of all the themes. It seems to be really solid. All the details are there. And it kind of changes up some stuff, so it's really cool. Um, your messaging is going to look a little different. Looks pretty cool along with your hangouts. It's going to look a little different as well. Other things that you'll notice is that the dialer changes up just according to the theme that you choose. Science my theme engine is a really cool one. I like layers. Layers has some really cool themes as well, but it seems that there's a lot more support with CMTE. So I definitely like how Resurrection Remix chooses to do this one. Another really nice element about Resurrection Remix is that you get performance enhancements and you get to choose that with different kernels and so forth. As you can see here, this is the kernel version that this is using. You got some CPU information. It's just a little bit more intricate, a little bit more details than what you're used to with some other ROMs that are out there. And it's kind of cool that they include that. Another cool option with the kernels is that you're going to get the kernel auditor. And that's how you can do it from the app drawer. And once you're into the kernel auditor, you're going to see some more options. You got kernel information, the frequency table, CPU thermal, GPU screen. You can have tons and tons of options here that you can choose from to really make your phone perform the way that you want it to perform. If you want it to perform with better battery life, that's really your option. If you want faster performance, that's another option. You can really tweak a lot of stuff within this app right here. Personally, I actually leave stuff alone. I use whatever the developer has already matched up the ROM with, and that's what I stick with. I don't really tweak too much with that kind of stuff, but I know a lot of people like to do that sort of thing, and Resurrection Remix gives you that option. Briefly, let's go over all the settings that this ROM includes so that we can kind of see what it does include. I'll leave a link down below, and the developer leaves a change log to where you can see everything that this ROM does. Pretty much the same stuff that you're used to looking at, even with stock Android. But as you notice down here, you got that performance option, and also your Super SU is located towards the bottom. While we're here down at the bottom, let's take a look at some of the other stats. You can see your current version, your about to resurrection status. You know, some of the stuff that you normally see, it's also got Android version 6.0.1, security patch February, baseband version, kernel version, your CPU, RAM, your build date to build number, and also your status here for cell Linux. Let's check out some of the battery stats real quick. Now, today has been a really kind of off day. I've done some really heavy usage with this. I took it off the charger about 7.30 in the morning, and I had to put it back on the charger once I got home, which was about 6.30 at night. And that's because I was running the hotspot, but I also started casting my phone to my TV watching Supergirl, so that way we could just kind of watch a TV show as a family as we were eating our food or dinner. But you can see here that that's where I started charging again. And I'm at 23% right now, three hours of usage left. This ROM really gets me through the heavy usage that I do throughout the day. This is some of the screen on time. Now, I don't really particularly like to even get into this kind of stuff because I use my phone differently than probably what you use it. I have my screen brightness up pretty much all the way all the time. And I'm not necessarily on my phone a lot, but I have a lot of tasks that go on in the background, such as that hotspot, like I'm downloading stuff from the hotspot, you know, so on and so forth. So you know, don't get onto the ROM if this isn't like the kind of stats that you're looking for or if you're kind of just snobby about it. Yeah, I, I said it. If you're a stat snob, 
don't get onto this ROM. It got me through the day. I'm a heavy power user, no complaints whatsoever. Let's go to the configuration so you can kind of see the other options that you're going to get. And this really does get into some detail. Very nice stuff. I really like the customization that you get with this ROM. You get clock customizations, and that's like how I have a center clock. You can choose if you want to show AM, PM, and all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to get into every single detail, but I want to show you briefly or the general overview of what's included with the settings. You get some battery bar, status bar kind of stuff. You can change your carrier. I like to put it as my website, just, you know, good marketing, you know what I mean. You can actually choose to put the Resurrection logo on the top corner. I'll show you what that looks like. You can see the Resurrection Remix logo right there. I kind of like to have a cleaner look. I do like to support the ROM, so it's kind of like a give or take kind of thing. I typically don't have it running, although sometimes I will enable it. You can have your weather in the status bar, brightness controls, your show notification count. That would drive me crazy if I had so many notifications going on. You can actually do breathtaking notifications as well. That's actually really cool. One of the more unique things that you'll see in this ROM. Breathing missed call, breathing voicemail, breathing SMS. I'll go ahead and turn that on. So that was just the status bar, and you saw how much was involved with that. Let's go ahead and dive on into the buttons. You got navigation, left-handed mode. You can change your buttons and layout. That's actually really cool because you can change what you want down here. You can actually add some buttons if you want to, like screenshot or anything that you see here in these options. Lots and lots of options there to choose from. Navbar dimensions, you can change the colors. Double tap to sleep, that's actually pretty cool. I like that a lot. You can double tap the navigation area to tap it to go to sleep. I love the tap the screen options because it's really just convenient, especially with the fingerprint sensor being on the back. If your phone is facing down, you can just tap the screen to wake it. I like that a lot. Or like if it's in a car mount, that's just really helpful and useful. You can dim buttons after inactivity, power menu options. This is another option that I like. I like to have the screenshot on there. Sometimes just holding down the power button and taking a screenshot is one of the easier ways to take a screenshot. I do screenshotting so much. You can also do some of these other options as well. Screen record, that's kind of interesting. And at times I'll put sound panel. You get some volume button options. I typically don't change anything with that. Just kind of does whatever the stock of the ROM is. Now with recents, there's some more options here. Clear all button, clear task clear all location, show the clock, show date. You got slim recents and also you have Omni switch. You can use Omni switch for your information there. So you can go to your settings and you get all your Omni switch settings here. Like I said, this ROM really does include a lot of elements. Resurrection Remix is like a bunch of ROMs put together in one. It's taking a lot of the highlights and putting them on one ROM. That's one of the reasons why I like Resurrection Remix. Let's take a look at the notification drawer. One of the things that I really like is the quick pull down and I have it on the right hand side. If I wanna access all this stuff at once, all I have to do is swipe down from the right hand side once. If I just wanna look at the notification, I can do that just by from the center or the left hand side. We do have smart pull down, so you can do that. That's a pretty cool feature. And you can get some more customizations down here at the bottom. The lock screen has some pretty cool options as well. You got power menu on the lock screen. I like that because at times I just want to get to the power menu without having to actually unlock the phone. Quick unlock, I love that feature. Because like when you first reboot the device and then you go to even use your fingerprint sensor, you can use it, but you're still gonna to have to put your pin or pattern in. Comparing to stock Android, you could put your pin in, and then you still have to press enter. With this, you don't have to do that. Once you put in the correct pin, it just unlocks the phone. You don't have to hit enter. I like that feature a lot. You got lock screen torch, that's if you long press the power button, it turns on the flashlight. Media cover art, definitely gonna have that for your music. Lock screen blur, it's a cool feature, I just don't use it. And you can see the rest of the options here. Animations is pretty cool. You have a ton of options for animations. It's just kind of sick how many options you get with this. You got toast animation, toast icon, list view animations and performance. You got some gestures, like this ROM just really includes everything that you could think of. You got three finger gesture, gesture anywhere, gestures to add and remove, app circle bar, pie control. I know a lot of people like pie control. I personally don't use it that much, so I don't really mess with it, but it is there if you want it. Miscellaneous options, you got multi-window mode. Now, when I'm using a note device, I might use multi-window, but I actually don't use multi-window that much, so I leave it disabled but it is a deal breaker for some people, and there it is. 
Something that I've appreciated with a lot of ROMs these days is that they include an updates option so you can see kind of like an OTA kind of schedule if you're on the latest version or not. You also have some links to let's say the G apps or even the ROM itself so you can just click it and it takes you right to where you need to go. Resurrection Remix for the Nexus 6P is a solid ROM that you can't go wrong with. I'll leave a link down below in the description of where you can download all the files that you need. Be sure to follow the instructions that the developer leaves. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you can see the next ROM video series coming out really soon. And until then, stay techy.